All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, so, I don't know if anybody knows, but I, I own a few businesses. And um, one of my businesses is a uh, cigar lounge. And uh, we pretty much reach capacity in our humidor. And so I need to come up with a way to increase the capacity without actually expanding the humidor. So I uh, decided to make some wooden shelves. Previously, we had glass shelves in there. The wooden shelves allowed us to be able to uh, tilt the shelves at an angle and therefore get more shelves on the wall space. So um, basically, I was just using the Craig jig there to uh, make a bunch of pinholes so these shelves will be adjustable. Um, and here, I'm gluing up the carcass. Going to use some pocket hose to attach this together. Um, I'm looking for more functionality rather than overall uh, prettiness, I guess you could say. <clears throat> uh, obviously, I still want it to look good, but more so it's just for functionality. So, completing one side and gluing up the other side of the carcass. And while I'm doing that, um, I really believe that I'll be able to increase the capacity of the humidor by about six to eight hundred percent, um, which is that's quite a lot of cigars being added uh, with the way I'm going to be doing the remodel of the humidor. <clears throat> so here I am just re reattaching the uh, or attaching the uh, pocket hole screws on the other side. I use that clamp there to um, help keep everything in line because when you use these pocket holes, it has a tendency to make the the board will move. And uh, now I'm just getting some scrap piece of wood. I'm going to make some pocket holes there to uh, attach about midway up the carcass just to kind of add some stiffness to it. Um, and here I am adding those pocket holes. <clears throat> and again going about halfway up um, just going to add some stiffness to, stiffness to the carcass and uh, once you start screwing in these pocket holes on one side it pretty much self squares itself up for the other side and I'm Cutting down some uh, more pieces of plywood. This will be the bottom shelf here. And uh, the bottom shelf is not adjustable. It will be um, screwed in place. And I'm just uh, drilling straight through one of those pinholes or actually it'll be for the pin hose that I uh, that I drilled in earlier and this is more or less just so I can see where the screw is is gonna come through so I can line this bottom board up a little easier again using the clamp to kind of uh, add some pressure so it's a sort of somewhat stays in place while I line it up Trying to move out my junk out of the way there. And I'm using the uh, square here, the combo square to just make sure I'm getting it even on the other side. I don't want to have my, my shelves at, at, a, at a, a tilted angle or whatnot. And now I'm cutting down some pieces of pine, uh, which is going to be basically the uh, face frame. This will cover, cover up those ugly edges of that plywood. I'm 
and just putting some uh, glue along the edges there. I'm going to attach those uh, face frame pieces with glues and with glue and um, and brad nails. Doing the other side the same way. See my dog down there likes playing in the sawdust. And once I get this uh, nailed down, I'm gonna uh, come and measure the, the bottom shelf. Cut up a piece, glue and nail that down as well. Once that's done, go and measure the top, get a piece cut to fit that. And once again, gonna glue it and screw it, cause that's how I do it. You know, I bet it's funny, y'all. Y'all hear me doing these uh these voiceovers on here and y'all like man that dude's dry as hell little do y'all know I'm nothing like that in person but there's just something about doing these voiceovers I'm just not very comfortable with but it is what it is maybe one day I'll be able to uh, kind of uh, come off as my my real self on here <laughs> Uh, again, this piece right here, I'm using pocket holes, just there again, stiffen up the carcass a little bit. And uh, now that I've got all the shelves in place using shelf pins, I'm going to put a piece of that pond on the front. And this will keep the cigar boxes from sliding off. I really appreciate y'all checking out the videos. Leave me some comments down there. Talk about my dry personality on these voiceovers. And uh, here's a little couple pictures of how it's starting to look inside the humidor. Um, I think it's really starting to turn out really nice. But uh, subscribe to the channel. Share it. Pass it around. Give me thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, appreciate it. Thank you.